The Broward Fire Rescue paramedics hurt in last month's deadly helicopter crash. He shares the pain of losing his friend and what he experienced during the catastrophic moments as the chopper went down. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho joins us from Pompano Beach Air Park, where the helicopter initially took flight before that fatal crash. Michael Chawe Seda says seconds felt like minutes as the helicopter fell from the sky. The 31-year-old intends to file a lawsuit seeking damages and answers about what caused the deadly crash. That mental image, that video, that impact, there's nothing I don't remember. Brown Fire Rescue paramedic Michael Chawaseda reflects on a catastrophic chopper crash that killed two people. A helicopter crash that did not need to happen. Sitting next to his attorney in downtown Miami, they called for an investigation into a company involved in replacing the helicopter's air conditioning unit. And whoever was involved in that work needs to be held accountable. On August 28th, shortly before 9 in the morning, the twin-engine Broward County Fire Rescue helicopter took off from Pompano Beach Air Park, responding to an emergency call. After hearing a loud boom during the initial climb, Chawaseta feared the worst. A lot of funny noises were going on. The smell of fire, of course. We've never, ever heard anything like that, so we knew it was catastrophic. Witness video showed smoke funneling out as the chopper flew back to the air park. Then he heard a second boom. Tail rotor instantly snapped off, and even though those spins must have been a couple seconds, they felt like minutes. Every single thought I had was my son, my family, how is this going to be explained to my son? The chopper crashed into the roof of an apartment building, killing BSO Fire Rescue Battalion Chief Terrison Jackson and the woman living in the building. It's what I think about every single day that goes by. Chawe Seda and pilot Darren Roche survived. Inside the cabin, we were full of heavy smoke. I couldn't even see my hand. I didn't know where up from down was. And witness video showed he and Roche crawling from the wreckage to safety. Craziest pain of my life. I got the wind knocked out of me so I could barely even breathe. The attorney says they plan to file a lawsuit against the company or companies they suspect of negligence relating to the crash caused by what they say was a mechanical failure. The FAA and NTSB are investigating and issued preliminary findings about two weeks ago, in part detailing the pilot's account. Joe Gorcho, CBS News, Miami.